Hi everybody, Pete Brady here. Uh, this lesson is on polar coordinates. Uh, if you're looking for chapter 8, we skipped that. That's on vectors and stuff. We skipped that uh, just due to time. We're running out of time and that's an optional chapter. So, uh, so uh, I would pass out some um, uh, polar graphing paper to you guys right now. So uh, surveyors use uh, polar graphing um, uh, for location of objects all over. So maps and stuff. So uh, recall if an angle is greater than zero, that's counterclockwise, and if it's uh, uh, less than zero, goes clockwise. In polar coordinates, we use the ordered pair r comma theta to locate a point, and r is the distance; it's like your radius from the origin to the object, and theta is the angle. Okay, so when using uh, the point p, which means polar, r comma theta, uh, and if r is greater than zero, then p is on ray o p. Uh, if R is less than zero, then re, uh, P is on the opposite ray of OP. You go in the opposite direction. So here I'm going to pass out some uh, polar graphing paper. Okay, now look like this. All right, and then uh, so that's zero degrees, 15 degrees, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. Okay, get the idea. You finish all the way around. I tell my students so you'd have all of those right there. And then we want to focus on just those red guys, just like in uh, the prior chapters. We, we, you know, the blue angles we don't deal with as much. We might here, but just not as much. So we focus on those those red angles. So here it is in radians. Okay. Uh, so pi over 12, 2 pi over 12, which is pi over 6, 3 pi over 12, 4 pi over 12, 5 pi over 12, 6 pi over 12. All right. And then I uh, would tell my kids to go ahead and reduce them where you can and finish it, and you'd get uh, all of those. Again, we'd focus on just those red angles. Remember, those are angles and radians right there. So as you move away from the x-axis, notice the denominators go 6, 4, 3. Quadrant 1, it, uh, the, the numerator is just pi. Quadrant 2, it's 1 less pi. Quadrant 3 is 1 more pi, 1 more than the denominator. This is 1 less than twice. Okay? All right, so... Um, uh, and then all students take calculus, so this is all are positive, this is just sines positive, just tangents positive, just uh, cosines positive right there. Ordered pairs are in alphabetical order, cosine, sine, tangent. So cosine goes 3, 2, 1, sine goes 1, 2, 3, tangent goes 1 third, 1, 3. Just remember the 1 third is um, uh, root 3 over 3. Okay, and the 3 is root 3 over 2, the 2 is root 2 over 2, and then 1 is 1 over 2. All right, so uh, graph each polar point. So 245, okay, can you see? Go to the 45 degree angle and you go out to your, your second uh, circle, which is radius 2. All right, it's just a, it's polar graphing paper. It's graph like graphing paper. Okay, negative 2. So go out to the 135 and go in the opposite direction. Okay, so negative 2. Okay, negative 1.5. So uh, the angle that's 7 pi over 6 is in quadrant 3. There's 7 pi over 6, so go negative 1.5 in the opposite direction. All right? Okay, so list as many different uh, ways to name the, the angle 2 comma 120. Okay, well there's 2 comma 120 right there. So here's one, uh, 2 comma negative 240. Negative 240 would be clockwise right there. Okay, there's all kinds. Here's a bunch more, you guys. 2 comma 480, negative 2, uh, negative 60. Uh, yeah, negative 2, negative 60. So negative 60 would be over here, and then negative 2 would be in the opposite direction right there, and so on. There's infinitely many more. In general, you guys, uh, r with uh, theta plus 2 pi k and negative r with uh, 2 k plus 1 pi, where k is any integer, will give you the multiple ways. And the 2 k plus 1 just ensures it's going to be an odd number right there. So graph each, you guys. Graph the radius equal to 2. Okay, well, if the radius equals 2, uh, it doesn't matter what your angle is, your radius is always going to be 2, so it's just a circle with radius 2. Okay, graph an uh, angle of uh, 5 pi. Okay, this means your radius can be positive or negative, so there's the angle 5 pi with positive or negative. R can be <coughs> uh, any positive or negative right there, but the angle is uh, 5 pi over 6, sorry. Recall the law of cosines, give you this formula right there, it just depends on uh, the included angle, and in this case is theta 2 minus theta 1. So the distance between uh, polar coordinate 1 with radius 1, theta 1, and polar coordinate 2, r2, theta 2, is this formula. And that, we just got that from the law of cosines right up there. So, so the distance between uh, p1, p2, is uh, that's distance formula right there. All right, so find the distance between uh, uh, 450 and 30 degrees and 600 and negative 50 degrees, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so just plug them in, you guys. 
and uh, notice um, uh, uh, it's negative 50 minus 30, which is negative 80. And you crank all that out, and you should get approximately almost 685 feet. All right.